after discussing well done randomized controlled trials there's only one more step to take to uh, complete the evidence and it's to take a look at meta analysis meta analysis are big studies in which many many studies of a research field are analyzed together and you take a look at the average effect size for all these studies with often thousands of participants. The only problem when taking a look at meta analysis in regard to exercise for depression is that there are so many meta analysis already. So I was delighted to find the study by Wegner and colleagues published in 2014 effects of exercise on anxiety and depression disorders review of meta analysis and neurobiological mechanism so this is a review of meta analysis and what they did is to calculate the average effect size of all these meta analysis and this average effect which they say is based on 833 studies and 48,207 subjects was, and this I think is especially interesting for people with a statistical background and psychologists, was D equals 0 0.56. For all non-psychologists, this must sound like, or oh, the meaning to life is 42. <laughs> Well, therefore, I will translate. This means the effect of exercise for depression is on average regarded as moderate. So if we keep all that in mind, all the positive effects of physical exercise, it's still quite surprising that not that many people use this kind of antidepressant. Um, take a look, for example, at a survey of the Gallup Institute in the United States. They interviewed 850,824 people via telephone and asked them, among other questions, how regularly they were exercising. And it turned out that only about 26.5% of the American population exercised regularly which meant which meant at least five times per week for about 30 minutes of course everyone can decide on his own whether he wants to exercise more or less but maybe next time when you feel a little bit down you feel a bit, little bit depressed you remind yourself that the antidepressant with many, many positive side effects is actually not that far away. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you next time.